This video is designed to help Year 12 accounting students know and understand how to calculate the cost price of inventory. So we value inventory in our records and reports at cost price. This is because it supports verifiability and also faithful representation due to its use of source documents. The cost price of the inventory is not just about the item itself, but is also about all costs incurred in order to bring the inventory into the condition and the location ready for sale. And this will be important when we start to look at product and period costs. So let's have a look at what this means, all costs to bring inventory into condition and location. On the right here, we have a scenario where Terry's TVs has purchased a new inventory line and they've incurred the following costs. They have incurred the cost of the item itself, so the Somsang 75-inch TV. They've incurred some GST on that item of 10% and they've incurred a delivery charge from the supplier to their business. So Terry plans to sell this item for $4,200. Now, what is the cost price of the TV? Well, if we look at the selling price, the selling price is not the cost. This is because selling price has things like markup attached to it. And just because we have a selling price for something doesn't mean that's how much we'll actually get for it. When we look a little bit further at inventory, we'll look at something called inventory write down. And this is where we talk about the importance of valuing at cost price, not selling price. The next part to look at is GST. So on this particular item, we had $350 of GST that was part of the invoice price. Now, if we look down in our notes here, we can see that GST is not included in the cost price of any inventory. We don't include it in inventory cards or things like that. That's because it is its own account and GST is a tax that is added on top of things. So on top of the cost price of inventory and it doesn't actually become part of inventory as it's a tax that is owed or collected on behalf of the government. The last part is then to look at, well, what do we have left? We have the item itself and we've got the delivery. So if we go down to the bottom here, you can see that the cost price is calculated as the TV plus the delivery. Why? Well, without this delivery item, we wouldn't be able to get the TV into the location ready for sale. So it is part of the cost because without it, we wouldn't actually have that item ready to sell to our customers. So what sort of cost should be included in the cost price of inventory? Well, first of all, we should include the item itself. So for example, the television. We can also include delivery. Now some other words you might see for delivery would be freight or cartage in. Now this is delivery from the business that has supported um, supplied the item to us. Delivery out is treated differently. It might be some modifications to the item. So an example might be that you add your own logo onto that item before you then sell it. We could also have customs or import duties and that is the cost of bringing items or a, like a tariff of bringing items in from overseas. And we could even have something as simple as buying expenses, and that's just miscellaneous buying expenses that we might have. So these are the things to consider when you're calculating the cost price of inventory.